Actually, the journey of the sensory center starts in the classroom. And in reality, it starts as the students walk through the door in the morning. Once they get off the bus and they come into the building, we have greeters that will greet those students. And while we're greeting, we have an opportunity to see their body language and where they are for the beginning of the school day. Once those students arrive in their classrooms, once they arrive in their classrooms, if any type of meltdown takes place, students needed a place to go to feel safe while the teacher still instructs other students in the classroom. So we felt that there was a need for students to have a safe and secure place whereby they can regulate themselves and we as counselors and social workers can peel back layers of what happened to you. So that was the onset of the sensory center. Now, as we have taken this journey and we're moving forward with it, there are other pieces that have evolved. And one is we're looking at how we can combine PBIS through the experience of the village. And the village just simply says that all of us are involved in helping our children, our students become whole in what they do in terms of their education. So through our experiences with the Sensory Center, we realized that although some kids were able to come in and self-regulate and go back to class and finish out their day, a lot of students were unable to do that. Um, for whatever reason, through trauma or other issues, they would go back to class and be right back out again. The Sensory Center would help them calm themselves, but then we were putting them right back into the environment that caused the meltdown in the first place. And so we realized that we need to go a few steps further with that and give more support to the kids that maybe the sensory center is helpful, but it's not everything that they need. So we came up with the village tier system, and this should meet the need of any student that walks in the door. So we have the first tier, which is the classroom universals. You combine the PBIS matrix with mindfulness exercises and yoga. What we're gonna do is we're gonna teach every teacher that teaches here how to do mindfulness exercises, how to get more in touch with their students' needs, recognize what may be trauma. It looks like behavior, but it's not, it's trauma. So we're gonna spend a lot of time training the teachers how to recognize that. If the kids are unsuccessful in the classroom, they can come to the sensory center, which you know they will still use for self-regulation and for some counseling, or they may go to where champions meet. Where Champions Meet is above the Sensory Center in the sense that it's for kids that need that extra time where they may be able to calm down for five or ten minutes. This gives them 30 minutes for five days straight of skills they can use in the classroom, at home, in their communities, anywhere they may be. For the kids that go through Where Champions Meet and it's still not successful, we're still not meeting that need, we'll have the Restorative Center. This will be an all-day adventure for these kids. It's replacing the traditional ISS model with something that's much more therapeutic. So they'll still be getting their academic needs met, but they'll also be getting the skill building that they have been unsuccessful with um, up until that point. And then, of course, throughout the pyramid, you have your medical support and your administration. 